In this video, I'm going to reveal step-by-step -step how you can make $100 per day with the Audible affiliate program. We're gonna talk about how you can sign up, how much money you can potentially make, and the best ways to promote it. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how you can make money with the Audible affiliate program. Hello, my name is Alston Godbolt with AustinGodbolt.com. I create content to actually help you make money online and not just to put money into my own pocket. And if you want to be added to this globe, simply reply or comment down below with your city, state, province, country, and I'll get you pinned. And don't forget guys, I am still running the $500 giveaway. If you want to be a part of the $500 giveaway, first watch this video and be sure to follow the directions. They basically say comment on all of my social media platforms. The more you comment, the more chances you have to win and to um, get a $500 gift before Christmas. Now the offer, the giveaway expires December 20th of 2022, so don't delay and join the giveaway. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Like I said, we're gonna talk about the Audible affiliate program. Let's talk about what it is, how much money you can make, and how you can promote it. So if we take a look at the screen here, you can see I'm on audible.com forward slash EP, forward slash affiliate intro. This is the official website for Audible. And let's talk about how you can become affiliate. First things first, you click on this button here, become an affiliate, and it's going to take you right over to the page and you are just going to sign up. Now note that Audible is a part of Amazon Associates, so you'll be joining the Amazon Associates affiliate program. It takes about 10 or 15 minutes to set up. With the Amazon affiliate program, you do need to have either a blog, a YouTube channel, or an app. So make sure that you have one of those three things and you should be able to sign up with no problems. Now, in my experience, I was able to sign up with a brand new blog, it was my first blog, and the only condition was you need to get three qualified sales in the first 90 days or 180, I don't remember, it was a long time ago, but those are the only conditions. But we're going to create content to promote or push our different affiliate links. So let's go ahead and talk about how much money you can get paid. So if we scroll down here, you can see standard fee structure, eligible products and services, Audible Gold Digital Membership, $10 per, Audible Free Trial Digital Membership, you get paid $5 just to have people sign up for the free trial, they don't even have to buy anything, and then the Audible Audio, the Audible audiobook pays 50 cents. So you can see here, those are our options. That's how we're going to make our money. We can promote a free trial. They don't even have to buy anything and you can make money. So let's talk about, in my opinion, one of the best ways to do it. One of the best ways to do it is simply to do book reviews. Now, what you could do, you could jump over to YouTube, for example, and we can do a book review on this book right here called Superfans and then push people right over to pick up the book over on Audible. For example, if we just type in a uh, super, super fans book review like this, hit enter, and you're going to see that people are looking this up. 2.5 thousand views two years ago, 391 views one year ago, 202 views. You can see people are creating content with simple book reviews. And then you could say, hey, look, if you wanna pick up this book today, you want the audiobook version, click the link in my description. So that's one way, simple, easy. What I recommend is to focus on newer books. If we look at this, I typed in new books, very simple. First, we're gonna wanna find and make sure that the new books are available on Audible or on Amazon, but we can go to amazon.com like this, and we are simply just going to look for different books. So we could click on Audible like this, and once that queues up, we're going to search different books. Now, what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you pick a genre. Fun fact, I used to call it genre, but I recommend that you pick a genre. For example, we can look at business and careers and we can do book reviews. Um, you can see here, we can look at the best sellers. We can sort by things that are trending. So if we look at trending now, we can create content about these trending ones. For example, never finished, unshackle your mind. Let's click on that. And what we could even do is we could look at the different chapters within this book. So that gives us the ability to create more content around the same book. So what most people do is they'll come over and they'll just make one book review about this. All right, so we hit enter. They're gonna create one, one video. And that one video is gonna have to fight. But if you look, uh, 2.2 thousand views from one month ago, 22 subscribers, 410 
views from three weeks ago, 17 subscribers. So you can see that teeny tiny channels are getting traffic. One thing that I recommend that you do is instead of just making one generic video about it, take a look at some of the individual chapters. Sometimes you'll be able to peek inside the book, talk about the chapters, talk about, you know, interpretation, what you think they mean. And you'll have, you'll have the ability to create multiple videos off the same content. Now you can actually do the same thing on TikTok as well. Now, again, what I recommend that you do is pick a genre and stay within that genre because people that are interested in business books aren't going to be interested in Twilight or whatever is new out there, whatever the young folks are, are watching and listening to. So if we just paste this in, we hit enter, uh, let's see, let's do, let's get rid of most of this. And then we can so we type in uh, never finished. You can see just from a day ago, 549 views from one day ago. You can see that some other, all, some of this other stuff is off base. I'm sure if we looked up the Michelle Obama book, that's gonna have a ton more traffic. That's also gonna be a little bit more uh, competitive. So I'll just copy this, the light we carry. But what I recommend that you do, like I said, is create content about the individual chapters, things that were surprising to you, aha moments that you got just from creating content about the individual chapters. Look at this, 118,000 views, 13,000 views, uh, almost 300,000 views talking about this book. And then you could say, hey, look, if you want a list of my favorite books, click the link in the description. And then you could have one link that goes to the Michelle Obama book, one link that goes to the um, unfinished or whatever that other book was, but you can see there's lots of opportunities. So what I, again, what I recommend that you do is go look at the trending books. These are going to be bestsellers. They're going to be new releases. You create multiple pieces of content about this, this niche. Okay. Don't jump around. All right. Most people will, will have, uh, will, will try and jump around and talk about different things. And I think that's where you can run into issues. So, uh, number one, create review videos, create multiple videos and, and the same thing. Another thing that you can do, it actually works really, really well. And in fact, that's how I found a number of books that I'm reading now is you could even come back over to YouTube and type in like best books for now look at this. People are looking up best books for coaches, entrepreneurs, students, trading, and so on. So if we look at best books for coaches, for example, not very competitive. This person only has 729 subscribers, 337 views, uh, 6.8 thousand views, only 686 subscribers, but you could put together a list of the five or six best books for individual needs. All right. There was a person, oh, let's do best, uh, let's do uh, best marketing books like this. And I think this is how I found the book. So look at this. Uh, my top five marketing books of all time, 9,000 views, 216,000 subscribers, 194,000 views, 44,000 views. There are tons of views to be had. And then you can put your link in the description and say, hey, look, if you want a free trial to Audible, click the link and, and give it a try. But we can say best underscore books like this. And you can see there are people that are asking all sorts of questions, best self-help books. Let's click on that. And you can see once again, tons of people are asking these questions and there are tons of views, 1.3 million views, 489,000 views, 2.4 million views, lots of views to be had in this space. And if you're doing YouTube, the first thing that I, I would recommend, like I mentioned, is focus on your niche. All right. So we were in business and careers do book reviews, read the book, obviously, um, do book reviews, do multiple chapter reviews, do all of that. And then if you ever run out, you can always just come back up here and do best self-help, best self-help books. If we copy this, we put this over on TikTok like this, hit enter. And you can see once again, 1 million views, 113,000 views, 1.9 million views, tons of views to be had simply talking about books. And then you want to make sure that you have a call to action that says, Hey, look, if you want my number one recommended self-help book, click the link for a free trial for your favorite, um, audio book that can work very well for you. Um, another thing that you can do is you can jump over to, so I'm over here on this paid keyword research tool called a We're going to jump back over to Google, 
and we're going to look at rewire your brain for example i'm just going to copy the name of this book and i'm going to paste it right into a hrefs and we're going to see what what else people are asking with regard to this book and so this is going to give us more ideas for content so if we look at this we can see if some of this makes sense some of this isn't going to be relevant uh, we could do the same thing. Let's go back over. Where is Amazon? We could go back over to, let's see if we can use that first book, Never Finished. We can copy the, we can copy the author name. We can copy the actual name of the book. So let's do Never Finished like this and paste this in. And we're also going to do the same thing with the name of the author. These are different ways to get into your niche and, and start creating content. But if we looked at never finished, um, so again, that might not be the best way to go. But if we come back over to Amazon and we look up David Goggins, I think that's his name. I apologize if I pronounce it incorrectly, but if we paste this in, we can see if people are asking questions about the author. They may wanna know about other books that David Goggins has written about. But if we look at this, David Goggin's book, David Goggin's wife, David Goggin's quotes, all different opportunities to get in front of people that are aware of the author of the book and they are probably also aware that he just wrote a new book. We could do the same thing with every person here. So if we do, let's click on David Goggin's, this is gonna open up a whole new area. So I wasn't familiar with David Goggin's until now, but it looks like he has a number of bestsellers. So we could once again do the same thing by creating content about all of the books that he's written and it also gives us some alternatives as well what we could do let's take a look at youtube we're going to paste in david goggins and you can see once again lots of people are talking or asking questions about david goggins let's see if people are comparing david goggins to somebody look at this david goggins versus tony Ro tony robbins we could create content here pros and cons say hey if you if you are a David Robin, David Goggins guy, excuse me, um, click the link in the description to, to pick up his audiobook. 3,000 views, 1,000 subscribers, 6.3 thousand views, 349 subscribers. I am asked all the time, how do I get traffic? And this is how you get traffic. Once you get traffic, you can monetize it. You can figure out what you want to do with it. But for most people, they struggle to get traffic. And in the span of 10 minutes, I have shown you a very low competition, highly targeted keywords where you can create content and make money. Now, again, you can drive people to the free trial. If you get what's the math on it, um, I think you need what 20 sales. My math is bad, as you guys can see from my other videos. So if we did 100, uh, if we did 100 divided by five, we're looking at 20 sales. You get 20 sales. Uh, 20 free trial signups, not even sales, 20 free trial signups, and you make $100. Now, if you, let's go back over here, if we get um, if we get gold signups, we get 10 of those, we make $100. So that's how you do it. Now that you know how to make $100 per day with the Audible Affiliate Program, click the first link in the description to discover how you can make your first 1K online without a huge following on social media, spending a dime on paid ads, or even a large mailing list. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbolt.com forward slash start to learn more. Watch this video next because YouTube says it's going to help you grow your online business.